Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, there's one thing that you guys love more than anything else, and that's your robots, right? Whether it's, uh, you know, cyborg type deal or welding robots or anything like that. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a method to create joints. And as you see illustrated here in this robot, there are quite a few. I mean, there are even more than that with the fingers and whatnot, but you know. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, we're going to model it, we're going to rig it, and we're going to animate it. Here we go. So uh, you can do this in many, many different ways. Uh, I'm going to show you one example, but basically uh, if you have a different style in mind, as long as you follow the same principles, you should be fine, right? So we're going to start with the modeling, then I'm going to show you guys how to rig it up, and then I'll show you a couple of examples uh, how it looks when it's animated, right? Here we go. So I'm going to start uh, with a polygon pipe. So I'm going to go up here, polygon pipe. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Yeah, there he is. All right. Okay. So I'm going to open up the attribute editor, control A, and I want to set this to 12. That should be fine. And then we're going to go in here and I just want the top faces. So right click face, get rid of those. And then with this guy left, we're going to go to modify and center pivot, hit W, hold down X and snap it to the grid. And there we go. We're then going to rotate it, hit E, hold down J and flip it on its side like this. And there you go. And now we are going to jump to this view and we're going to right click and go to vertex. We're going to grab like this guy, hit W, we're going to hold down X and we're going to snap it up here. That one will go up there. That one will go up there. That one will go here. And that one will go here. Okay, fine. Alrighty, now that we have this guy, we're going to go in, right click at the edge, one and two. We're going to hit Control E to extrude, W to pull in. And what we're going to do here is we're going to raise that up a little bit. Yeah, so it's going to be something like that yeah g to repeat w to pull up to about there and then g to repeat w to pull in like so something like that and we can change the dimensions if we want let's have a look from this point of view i'm gonna right click and go to vertex maybe we want to move this in just a little bit and just to be consistent what i want is for these vertices to snap to my grid so I'm going to hold down X and there you go. And same here. We'll do that there and we'll do that one right there. Okay. All right. So now we'd have this as a starting point. We're going to right click and go to object mode and I'm going to move my pivot point to the top right there. Actually, not just yet because I want to have the top be perfectly square and I'll explain that in a second. So I'm going to jump to the top view. Okay. And hit four for wireframe mode. And we need to keep in mind that we're looking at the top, which is only these two faces. So if I go in here and go to face and select one of these, you can see they're those two. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to object mode and I'm going to move this over like so. So these two are in this square of four. And then I'm going to move my pivot point Hit the insert key. We're going to hold down a V, move it right there hit the insert key again. And a lot of you guys ask, what's the insert key? It's called INS. It's next to the home key and it's above your arrow keys. Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's see, did I duplicate it yet? No, I did not. Okay. So control D to duplicate, E to rotate and hold down J and flip it around like this. Okay. If we now select these two, right click go to vertex actually we need to combine it first let's go to mesh and uh, combine right click vertex drag select edit mesh and merge you now have one object and the top is perfectly square and that's what you want all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to give this some thickness so right click at the object mode control e to extrude and let's do 0.1 that should be enough you can make it thicker if you want let's try 0.2 that's fine okay 0.2 now uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to copy this guy downward 
All right, so control D to duplicate, E to rotate, flip it down like so. And then we want to align the holes. So we're gonna move that in place. F to frame, four for wireframe mode. So you can see whether it's aligned or not. And now it is perfectly. And then we're gonna go in, hit E to rotate, hold down J and flip it like so. Okay, now the idea here is that this will allow us to hinge uh, these guys in multiple directions. So you can use this as a neck joint, a shoulder joint, elbow joint, foot joint, hand uh, or wrist joint, and so forth and so on, yeah? So uh, we need to connect these two up. So let's take a polygon sphere that we want perfectly in the middle for obvious reasons. And we now need to create an axle for that. We'll take a polygon pipe, we'll hit E to rotate, we'll hold down J, flip it on its side, stretch it out quite a bit, and then scale it down so it fits our hole. Let's have a look. F to frame, scale it in. And there you go. And then we might want to make it a bit shorter like that, yeah. And what you can do here, um, just to make it look better, is you can put in uh, like a wedge or something in here to hold that in place, like it's you know fastened mechanically with a um, you know a ball bearing, something like that. Yeah, but for uh, demonstration purposes, this is fine. So we have that guy. We're gonna control D to duplicate, E to rotate, and hold down J. Okay. Now, this is basically all there's to it. Um, I'll show you how this works when we rig it up, okay? Uh, before we do that, uh, we need to uh, center a couple of things out. So the pivot point for the sphere should be in the middle. And if we hit W, you can see it is. The pivot point for this guy should be in the middle, and it is. The pivot point for this guy is in the middle, as it should be. And now we need to move the pivot points of these guys, so that one and that one, to a point where it's in the middle of the sphere, yeah? So we're gonna hit the insert key again. We're gonna hold down X and we're gonna move that pivot point up there. And then we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit the insert key, hold down X and snap it down there and hold down insert once again. Alrighty. So now that we have all of this, we can go in here drag select all of it and go to edit delete by type history and we'll go to modify and freeze transformations all right so this technically means that if i now take this and hit e to rotate it should rotate around that axle yeah if i take this one it should rotate around that axle and if i take this thing right here it should obviously rotate and it didn't take these guys along this yet because we didn't link that up, All right? So now it's time to parent things up. So who's the boss over what, yeah? This thing is what they called the child, yeah? It's connected to this, so this is the parent. So you select that, shift select this, and hit P for parent. Then, same deal here. This is the child, that's the parent. Hit P, yeah? Then, of course, this is the child of that. Hit P to parent. This is the child of that. Hit P to parent, yeah? So now, if I select this right here, I can rotate that freely, yeah? If I select this guy, I can rotate that freely. And if I select this, I got the whole deal, yeah? All right, so let's see if everything is working correctly. So if we select this axle, that should work. And if we select this axle, that should work, yeah. And if we select the sphere, that should work, okay. So now that we have all this, let's make a couple of copies and then we'll uh, do some animation. So Control D to duplicate, W to move, move it over here. And let's do Shift D and Shift D. So we've got four, yeah. All right, let's say we want um, this one right here um, to bend as a, I don't know, a knee joint, yeah? So we want um, 
this to happen right here. We'll hit um, E to rotate. We want something like this, like a knee joint, yeah? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrub to frame one. We're gonna hit S to keyframe that. Let's set this to 100 frames. Like so, there we go. Run frame one, it's a uh, keyframed. We're gonna drag select, uh, we're gonna drag it to frame 45. There we go. We're gonna add some movement here. So let's move that to, let's say here. We're gonna hit S on the keyboard again. And then we're gonna drag select forward to frame 90. And then we're gonna push it back. Okay, and I want it to be perfectly straight again so let's make sure that's the case okay and we're gonna hit s once again so now if we go back jump to frame one and hit play you'll see that's moving forward and back yeah okay okay let's stop that and let's jump back Let's say we want this guy to rotate completely, right? So like this. And while doing so, we want the top to kind of um, <clears throat> rotate downward, yeah? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in first. We have the whole thing selected. We're on frame one. We're gonna hit S to keyframe with everything selected, like so. We're gonna scrub to, and just to ignore the one on the left there, scrub to 45. And what we'll do is we'll flip it over like so, something like that, yeah. Hit S again, scrub forward to frame 90, and then we'll flip it back. And again, we want it to be perfectly straight. So let's flip it back right there, yep. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna hit S again on that one, jump to frame one, hit play. So that one's rotating. But like I said, we wanted two uh, pieces of movement. We want the top to kind of flip up and down as well. So we need to select this for that. From frame one, S to keyframe, scrub to 45. We'll uh, flip this guy down like so. Hit S to keyframe, scrub it to frame 90. And then we'll flip it back. And again, we want it to be straight. So let's make sure that's the case. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on that, but you know, you get the idea, yeah? Right, so we've got that. We're gonna hit S once again. So now we go back to frame one, we hit play. So we got that one coming in. We got that one rotating and bending. Um, let's see, on the third one, we might want to do something like both bending at the same time, yeah? Okay, you get the drill by now. We're gonna select this guy, run frame one, keyframe. We're gonna scrub to 40, where is it? 45, right there. We're gonna tilt it down like so. That's the keyframe, scrub to 90. And then we're gonna rotate it back. And again, let's try and get that straight. And it's kind of a repetitive process. So like I said, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that, yeah? So around 90, we're gonna ask to keyframe that, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the bottom one. And the basically same deal. We're gonna go in here, key keyframe it on one, we are going to uh, flip it like so. Hang on, I need to scrub to 45 first. We're gonna flip that up like this. That's the keyframe, scrub it to frame 90, push it back. Maybe we'll go all the way over here, why not? Hit as the keyframe again, and there you have it. So let's go in. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know, what we can do with the last one is, let's do two things. We're not gonna use the last one as a hinge. We're gonna take the entire thing like that, right? 
we're on one we're going to keyframe it let's scrub to 45 like so and what we'll do is we'll uh, rotate it like this yeah that's the keyframe and then we'll scrub to 90 and then we'll uh, rotate it like this and hit as the keyframe and then we'll go back to frame one and we'll only take that as the keyframe go to 45 and uh, move that as the keyframe and go to 90 and move it back somewhat and hit S to keyframe. You get the idea, yeah? Okay, so um, jump back to frame one, hit play. Okay, guys, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did, for sure. Uh, let me know if you got any more uh, prop animation requests that you want me to do. Uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to do so. And also, before I go, uh, don't forget to check out the link below. I uh, now have a Discord server, all right? Love to see you guys there. Bye.